All right. In my video today, I want to talk about software architecture and I want to talk about very specific term which is called multi-tenant software architecture. And with example of OpenBOM, I would like to explain how it helps to our customers. So in the past, when many PLM, PLM systems were developed, they uh, used a database as a core foundation of the system architecture. So you develop a PLM system for a company, so you install this PLM system in a company, you get a database where all data was stored, and the entire architecture was built around this database. Nothing wrong, most of system architecture and most of PLM system in production today is doing it. But here's the difference with the uh, cloud and software as a service systems. If you will try to take this database and you will put it in the cloud servers, it will work. But uh, if you will go and deploy a number of customers and a large number of customers, you will end up with a large number of databases hosted in the cloud. So you will have 100,000 customers and you will have a hundred thousand databases that you need to maintain. Now, when the system was on premise and the maintenance and the management of database was the entire responsibility of the customer, there was nothing wrong. The IT department was taking care of this. Now, when today software provided as a service, these database, these databases are actually a place that can be optimized. Uh, to perform better also economically and also technologically. Because imagine you want to deploy a new feature that requires database change. So you need to go and need to update 100,000 databases. That's not very pleasant job and I am sure a software technologist can do it better. So what you see is that systems needs to be organized differently and the system can have architecture level that will allow to manage multiple customers. And this is where uh, actually the term multi-tenancy is coming. It's multiple customers. You can do it by uh, multiplying number of servers, or you can do it by organizing system architecture in a different way. So it will serve differently a uh, number of customers by providing them a platform to manage all these customers together and manage all these users together. So what else you can get, what additional advantage you can get as a result of applying this architecture is a absolutely better way to share data. If you have multiple databases, to share data between these databases requires very sophisticated mechanisms, you know, <laughs> export data, import data. So in OpenBOM, you can share data with the click of the button because data is organized in the multi-tenant architecture. And this is the advantages of OpenBOM and this is the advantages of multi-tenant architecture these days that allows us equally serve individual user, very small company and very large company as well. So that was uh, my technological introduction to multi-tenant architecture. I hope I made it simple enough for Sunday morning and you have a fabulous uh, weekend in front of you and we will talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.